One of the keys to understanding a programming language is to understand how data types work. What is a data type, you might ask? Well, it's simply a classification that specifies what kind of data a variable holds. JavaScript has seven different data types. Six of the data types are primitive values, and one of them is an object. A primitive value means that it just represents a single value. An object is a collection of keys and values. So let's get into some of the examples. So the first primitive value is Boolean. And what Boolean is, is basically a representation of true or false. So for example, we can represent it with one flag equals true. It can also be changed to false. So click on so log. False. Okay. Now if I comment this out, it'll print out true. So that's the Boolean data type. Next primitive value is null which is set by a programmer to indicate that the variable has no value in it. If you run that, let me just clear the old console log and run it again. And as you can see, we're printing out true from the Boolean and null variable is null. To make it more clear, let me add some kind of string to indicate what I'm printing out. And as you can see, our null variable is null. Okay. The next primitive value is undefined, and it also basically indicates that the variable has not been assigned a value. However, it's automatically set by a JavaScript and should not be set by a programmer. So never set uh, a variable to something like this. Never do that. If you want to make a variable empty, just use null. If you just don't set the variable to anything and print it out, just add a string right here, undefined. Then what you're going to see is undefined. The next primitive data is the number. So you can set a variable to. Four. Print out. And you'll see a four. Number is four. The next primitive value is the string. And a string is a sequence of characters. So, for example, That's a string. If you run that, tap the light. With strings, you can also do concatenation by basically using a plus sign as you would do with numbers, but that would add numbers together. With the string, it would just add another string. For example, space and See what happens. Well, they have the light development and done right. Now, symbol is something that has been added to version ES6 of ECMAScript, JavaScript. So we're going to skip it for now and go into object. Object. Well, an object is a representation of keys and values. So define an object, you can do it in several ways, such as you can also define objects with new object. And 
parentheses. So now to start adding uh, keys with values, you can do something like this with a dot. Now we print this out. Oops. There, forget to add plus. By default, JavaScript will print out objects as object object, which is not very helpful if you want to see the data that's inside the object. So what you can do is right json dot stringify enclose the classroom your object within json dot stringify and we run it again then you will see student alex school dev delight as you can see this is your key and this is your value this is your key and this is your value now objects they are somewhat of a unknown order, right? It's, there's no order, it's just properties. There's another concept in JavaScript called arrays, which is an ordered object, pretty much. The way to use it is instead of having random keys, you assigned index values to it. Here's an example. You declare an array List also an object, but an ordered list, or you can just say it's uh, numerically ordered, whatever you prefer. So to declare an array, you would say you can just do two brackets, as you can see, it looks somewhat similar, just different brackets and this is curly brackets you can also declare an array with new array and you can also create an array with values right away and we'll talk about manipulating arrays in other videos So we can also print that out. And as you can see, arrays get printed out without problem. So the reason the arrays are numeric indexes or numerically ordered is because the key will always start zero and go up from there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and also check out the link in the description of this video where you can download the source code. 